Hi everyone, in this video together we will learn how to create shorter trajectories using VMD. So maybe your trajectory is around 100,000 frames and somehow 50 gigabytes and it's very hard to copy or to load different trajectories in the same time using your personal computer or in VMD so it's going to crash and you already are going to skip many frames in VMD to analyze it. So why not to prepare a shorter trajectory with already skipped frames? So, for example, I have here a trajectory with 5,000 frames. It's already short trajectory from somehow 25,000 frames, but just for the sake of tutorial. So, I have here 5,000 frames. So I want to create a shorter trajectory from this. So I have to get first my PSF file of the system. And here we are. And I select and I go to file, save coordinates. And here I save the data from my DCD. And here the selected atoms, it could be all if you want everything, or you could choose protein only if you don't want the solvent for example you want only the protein so let's say protein and you choose from here dcd and here the stride you can save from the first frame to the last frame with the stride one if i did this i will get the same trajectory but if i said save every 10th frame and i say save and I say short trajectory dot DCD and I said save. So here I got the short trajectory and let's check it. Yes, directly. So I have only 500 frames and so it's very short and very easy to handle. So you may be having 50,000, you can make it five, five, uh, 5,000 because you're already going to use the stride to skip many frames while you load it into VMD. So why not you have a shorter trajectory, which is easy to send, easy to copy, easy to, to analyze. That's it and see you in the next video. And if you have any comments, if you see that you have a different way to do it, or if you have any corrections, please do not hesitate to write in the comment. And thank you.